The most unbelievable hour of television begins right now on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Tonight, coming to you from the Ripley's Museum in the heart of Hollywood. Hi, I'm Kelly Packard, and tonight I'm out on the world-famous Hollywood Boulevard. As you can see, we had to barricade the street to keep the audience a safe distance away. That's because the woman that they call Miss Electra is about to be electrocuted and plans to live to tell about it. Danielle Stamp is her real name, and this is Brent Turner. He's the man that's going to flip the switch, sending 750,000 volts of electricity through her body. Now, Danielle, you're putting your life in this man's hands. How can you trust him so much? Well, he was a mutual associate who'd been playing with electricity and Tesla coils for quite some time, so I figured he'd be the best teacher for me. And Brent, you're an electrical engineer, right? That's correct, Kelly. So can you kind of help the rest of us understand what's really going to be happening here? Uh, what we have is what's called a Tesla coil. What it does is it takes ordinary wall current that we use in our homes today, steps it up to an incredible high voltage, in this case, as was mentioned, 750,000 volts, it's of a high frequency nature, and that's the key. And that's actually what's going to keep Danielle alive tonight. It is a dangerous stunt. I don't want to underemphasize that. All right, well, for those who have doubts about the danger involved here, let's take a look at what happened earlier during a test. We wanted to see what would happen to an ordinary store mannequin when exposed to an electrical jolt, the same 750,000 volts that will flow through Danielle. Just minutes away from Danielle getting on that platform and getting zapped herself. Only here on Ripley's. Tonight on Ripley's. Animal trainer Mark Bianconiello is out to capture a Ripley's record any way he can. He'll strip down to his shorts when he dares to crawl into a tub filled with 20,000 slimy, squirming leeches. 23-year-old Seth Dow was always the quiet type until a simple case of hiccups turned into an unending nightmare. Now he'll try anything to stop. This young mother thought she'd caught a cold. Little did she know a horrible disease was starting to devour her body alive. With all the symptoms that she has, patients do not make it. Can doctors stop this flesh-eating killer in time? Plus, Timmy the lamb gets the world's first prosthetic sheep's legs in tonight's Unbelievable Animals. Be there when one inventor tries to launch the largest kite ever made. And what are these women peddling? Outrageous outfits made from bicycle tires. Only on Ripley's Believe It or Not. Welcome to the Ripley's Warehouse. We've got a lot of great stories for you tonight, but before we get started, let's go back out to Kelly Packard, where police have barricaded Hollywood Boulevard in both directions. Thanks, Dean. I am here with Danielle Stamp, who is about to survive a controlled electrocution. Now, I've been told that deadly power lines carry 100,000 volts. This Tesla coil sends out 750,000. That is more than enough to send a human into cardiac arrest. Now, Danielle, you saw what happened to that mannequin during the test. Now, that could happen to you. I mean, what preventative measures are you taking? Well, the first measure we take is to wear these gloves, and that protects my skin from getting fried. It has a lot to do with being able to manipulate the electrical current, so that's the main safety factor. Well, it sounds like you know what you're doing, so let's make this happen, okay? Now, I've got to say that we have set up a 20-foot safety radius around the generator. I'm going to go a safe distance away, and then Brent can flip the switch, okay? Good luck, Danielle. I'll be rooting for you. Can we dim the lights on the boulevard? Nice. Okay, Brent, it's up to you now. Whenever you're ready, flip the switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Those are five-foot bolts, 
coming out of her fingertips. Oh, that is so cool. Far from it, Kelly. What we're going to do next is attempt to light these light bulbs without wires. Honestly. Honestly. Okay, I gotta see this. Can we get the lights dimmed again? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now what we're seeing is electricity actually flowing through her body, going out her fingertips and lighting these fluorescent tubes. I mean, there's no cords here, no wires, nothing. This is incredible. I'm just in shock. Danielle! That was so great. I, I have to know, how does that feel? Have all that electricity go through you? Very powerful. I bet it does. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Electra, Danielle Stamp gets electrocuted with 700 redirected out of her body and is still alive. You saw it here only on Ripley's. Thanks, Kelly. Well, let's talk about fear. The fear of beautiful women is called caligynophobia. The fear of washing or bathing is called ablutophobia. The fear of peanut butter sticking to the roof of your mouth is called arachnibutophobia. Now, Ripley's met a man who claims to have no fears whatsoever. We were skeptical, so we decided to test him with a tub of leeches. Thousands of them. Mark Biancaniello is getting ready to take a dip in the water, but it's not the lake he's diving into. Believe it or not, he's about to try and set a Ripley's record by crawling into a bathtub with 20,000 slimy, sucking leeches. My major concern uh, regarding this event today is the leeches getting in places on my body where they shouldn't be, um, primarily underneath my shorts. Mark has been working with dangerous animals for years. A trainer, he's learned to manage his fear. But this is his first experience with leeches. I don't like fear to control my day-to-day -day living or actions. And I think by doing this, it's just another way of overcoming that. To keep the leeches from getting into any sensitive areas, Mark tapes his shorts closed. It's always nice to know I have fans out there. <laughs> Next, with paramedics standing by, Mark positions himself in the tub. This is it. The crowd immediately reacts as the first tube of 2,500 leeches is poured over Mark's body. More leeches are released, then another tube, and another. With 10,000 in the tub so far, Mark is already halfway home, but now there's a problem. The leeches are beginning to feed. I, I can feel a few of them biting me. Are they, is it biting too much? You want to? You want me to keep going? No, no, no. We got to keep going now. We're here now. Are you sure? Can't stop. Let's go. Keep going. Let's do it. Right? Another 2,500 slither in, and Mark can feel thousands of leeches everywhere on his body. Fighting the natural urge to panic, Mark signals to keep going. Another tube is poured in. Mark has only one container of 2,500 leeches left to go. Easy where those are going. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Emptying the canister slowly, Mark is buried in a mound of living leeches. This really sucks. But Mark's not finished yet. With one final gross-out move, he does the unthinkable. You know where he it? He submerges his face in the leech-infested water. He's done it. Mark Bianchiniello submerges himself in 20,000 leeches, setting a new Ripley's record.
are countless homespun cures for the hiccups, and Seth Dowell has tried every single one of them to no avail. After 400 days and counting, he's ready to try anything to put an end to this hiccup horror. Seth Dowell seems like your average 23-year-old. He has a good job, he's active in sports, and loves the outdoors. But Seth has a rare and unusual medical condition. Believe it or not, he's had a case of the hiccups for well over a year. The date I got the hiccups was on August 23rd of 2000. Yeah, it's the day you can remember. You don't forget the day. Seth, who works in a pharmacy, had just begun his lunch break. He picked up a sandwich and headed for the park. I ordered a veggie deli sandwich, and I ate it too quickly. While I was eating my sandwich, I, I did get the hiccups, and they progressed. Seth kept waiting for the hiccups to stop, but unbelievably, they continued for a couple of weeks. So Seth started trying every known home remedy. First came the old pickle juice wives' tale. It didn't work. Neither did Aunt Dorothy's grassy-tasting herbal concoction. Drinking from the wrong side of the glass only made Seth dizzy. And even the tried and true sucking on a lemon cure failed. At first, it was pretty funny. And then after about the third week, I kind of got a little concerned. And my mom said, well, just go to the doctor and see what they say. Seth went to his family doctor. But after a couple months of frustration, the hiccups which are caused by an irregular movement in the diaphragm, Open still one, would not go away. Seth's doctor was forced to send him to a specialist. There um, are people who have intractable hiccups, which is what Seth has. Anyone that has hiccups for more than a month falls into the category of intractable hiccups. On average, only one in 500,000 people ever develop Seth's rare condition. Unfortunately, in Seth's case, Nothing that Dr. Banks tried seemed to work either. While doctors tell Seth that his hiccups pose no serious threat to his health, on average, he hiccups 200 times a day. That's more than 100,000 hiccups and counting. And having the hiccups for so long has changed Seth's life, causing some real problems. I've been to movies and I've left because they, they can get pretty loud and I didn't want to ruin it for people, so I just left. In fact, his hiccups have become so irritating, they've even caused Seth and his girlfriend to break up. When I first met him, he just first got the hiccups. And later on, he started getting worse and worse. And that's when we started drifting farther and farther apart. And while it's hard to find anything good about his situation, the hiccups have helped Seth become a stronger person helping him to come out of his shell. The best part is watching him grow with it. He's really come out of himself, and that's, that's been good for him. At first, I was a very shy person. With the hiccups, it's taught me how to talk to people, be more of a people person. Seth is now taking medication, which reduces the frequency of the hiccups, but it's not a cure. A rare birth defect should have left Juana Rosario bedridden for life. Now see how this courageous woman is making skeptics eat their words. Plus, his teeth are worn down to the gums. But that's not stopping him from prying nails out of a board with his mouth. Yeah, it's been a couple of times when my teeth have, have come out on stage. Tonight's nail-biting, unbelievable act is just moments away. And dig these treads. The tantalizing fashion, all made from tires. Coming up, only on Ripley's.